Hi, I'm Julia for the GT Network and today we are at the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival at the Hyatt. Now, TTFF has worked with the United Nations Women, University of West Indies and the Institute for Gender and Development Studies to put together this conference today where they focus on the power of women in film. We have three persons that we are going to interview and you are going to find out what they are doing here as power of women in film. here at the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival and today they are focused on power of women in film yes and I'm here with Marisol who's a filmmaker yes. so tell me what what is your place here as in power of women in film how do you feel about this oh I mean it's a theme that is very important to me uh, I'm here invited with my film to the festival and they asked me to come and speak uh, here at the panel which was an honor uh, and this is a theme that I think is very important. I think the representation of women in film is something that is very important to me. In terms of your work done, and we focus a lot on men in film, but it's always a different process for women because their journey is a little tedious now that times have been changing. What would you say to women to help them along in this process, uh, in this world where they have to battle women against men? Yes, there's that, but how did you make it through and what would you tell them to be successful in film? Well, the first thing is you have to have a, you know, you have to believe in what you're doing um, and you just have to keep pushing forward. I mean, you just have to, there will be roadblocks along the way, but you just have to f just keep believing that you can do it uh, and also find a network of support in the process because it's, it's this process, but it's not undoable. There are females that have made it and we'll keep making it and we'll keep doing our films. And we are back here with Shari Petty at the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival and we're talking about the power of women in film. Shari, you've been in film for how long? Since I was 19, I'm 22 now. Well, around 17, but 19 behind the scenes. So yeah, I'm 22 now. How much of a time that is. <laughs> how has this process been from you from getting into it mm -hmm. and being involved in it and now having your film out there? I've learned so, 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 so much from so many people, like a lot of mentors that I've had, like they, they raised me up, they showed me the right way to do things and well, going to school, I learned a lot of the technical part of things, enough for me to now have my own film, so I am grateful for all the opportunities and all the people around me. What would you think, what would you say is the most unnerving thing about being in film or the most scariest thing for you? Scariest thing? trying to figure out when the next check gonna come <laughs> I mean it always comes but it's like gosh I wonder like what I'm gonna work on this month that will make me some money <laughs> does that affect your process like this worry about finances I know there's a lot of issues with filmmakers and how they get things done and paying their whole staff which is not small how do you deal with that um it doesn't I mean it affects me but I try not to think about it too much I have a lot of friends who will come through and we will work on each other things for free mm -hmm. so I mean at the end of the day when the end product comes out it's like okay it was it was worth the little struggle and you know we support each other because we know you know for now we have to grind and people have to see the work that we have first you know for them to come and be like okay we can pay you to do this And GT is here at the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival focusing on the power of women in film. I'm here with Leticia, who is also a filmmaker. Yep. So tell us about your role here at the festival as a filmmaker, as a woman. Well, it's basically just a spark conversations. Like I more tend to go towards taboo topics, topics that our society wouldn't necessarily talk about, or our society wouldn't necessarily accept. And that's something I want to move towards people I wouldn't say accepting it because that's like a stretch right now. It's a stretch for like the older society, but at least understanding it, being aware of it and respecting it. And what would you say is are your major topics of focus? Uh, I, 
deal with more like um, street harassment, sexual harassment, uh, LGBT stuff. Mostly that is what I'm dealing with right now. How do you engage? How do you engage at all using film and using the work that you do? Right now I'm using um, documentary as my medium, so I'm trying to use that to create the conversation. So I'm trying to like think of Shari Smallime, but I'm trying to do it more with <laughs> mostly females, but um, more LGBT, more um, lesbians, more masculine or more feminine presented lesbians. Because we, even though we're women, we get the like a different array of um, sexual harassment on the streets. So that's one of the ways I Once again, I am Julia for GT Network, and we are here at the TTFF for the power of women in film. We just spoke to Shari, Letitia, and Marisol, where they spoke about how they have placed themselves as women in film and have made it. So, we can look cute, and we can make films, and we can be successful, and we've heard what they have said about that. So, you're here, GT Network. <laughs>